Hi friends, this is Anna Hellman and I'm back with day six of my 12 days of DIY gift ideas. And today's project is going to be this cute little desk caddy that you can either use to organize just general office supplies, or as I'm gonna show you for you crafters out there, this also fits your Stampin' Up! adhesives perfectly and you can fit all of your adhesives in this cute little caddy. So as a quick refresh, in case you missed any of my other days, some of the projects we've made so far during my DIY gifts are these cute little decorated coffee cups. We made some fun little Hershey's Nugget treat holders. A Here's another little desk caddy that has a mini tear-off calendar in front. It holds post-it notes. We made some sanitizers, little hand sanitizer holders that look like Santa's, and some really neat framed samplers. So make sure you look up those videos if you missed any or all of those. And now let's talk about today's project. So I mentioned that this can also fit your Stampin' Up! adhesive. So let's look at that and how they fit in here. If you wanna use it for a desk organizer, as you can see, I had pins in it, post-its. I put some of my handmade cards, but you could put a notebook in the back. Just any kind of office supply stamps if you're wanting to use it to have a little mailing station. But if you want to use this for adhesives, let me show you, we have our tear and tape, our dimensionals. If you want to, you can slide your seal in here. Glue dots fit right in there. And our multi-purpose glue right here. If this does make it bow out a little bit, our new seal, but if you don't have glue dots or don't keep your glue dots right there by you all the time, seal also fits in this front pocket. So just a cute little caddy for either your craft table or your desk. So let's talk about how to make this. You only need a few, a few basic supplies, just some paper, and we're gonna cut and fold and put these together uh, just like that in just a couple of minutes. So you need three pieces of cardstock. You need one piece that measures eight and one quarter inches by six and a half inches. You need a piece that measures six by three and one quarters inches and a piece that measures six by five inches. Now the first thing we're going to do with each of these pieces is to score it. So for this largest piece, the eight and a quarter by six and a half piece, we need to score on the long side at four and one quarter and five and one quarter. Then we need to turn it to the short side and score at one and five and a half. So let's go ahead and assemble this. This is going to be this back largest pocket here. So you need to get some snips and first we will fold on all of these lines. You can use your bone folder to burnish them to get nice crisp creases. You wanna fold on each of these lines and then we're going to do a little bit of trimming. Here on the edges, we need to trim in where the score lines are. And it helps if you notch a little bit out. You don't have to, you can just trim that, but it does make for a nice corner if you notch this out a little bit. Same thing on this side. And we are ready to put this together. You can use glue dots or tear, tear and tape adhesive if you like, but for the purposes of this video, I am going to use multi-purpose glue. And I'm going to place it on the inside of the little tiny flap and the bottom flap. And once I have that on there, I need to fold these top pieces in and I am going to fold this up and wrap in, this is going to be a little bit hard to see, but wrap in those little tiny flaps and adhere them first. And after the little tiny flaps are in place, then I want to fold this piece down 
and wrap it around the sides. So I'm gonna hold this for a second to get everything to stick in place since I used that glue. But that is how easy it is to put this together. The other two are going to be exactly the same process. They're just different dimensions. So I'll explain those dimensions here in just a second. We do need to angle these corners off to get the nice, nice angles on your box. So you can use a ruler, you can draw a line and follow that if you like, or you can just eyeball it. So that is our first box. Now let's do the same thing with the two smaller ones for the front. For the six inch by three and a quarter piece, I've already prepared this, but I'll tell you how to score it. You want to score at one and two and one quarter inches on the short side. And then on the long side, you need to score at three and four inches. You're going to notch it out exactly the same way as I just showed you. And once again, put adhesive on the same flaps, that little one and then the shorter one at the bottom. Fold this together the same way. Make sure everything is nice and tight and that your box is straight and we can cut the angles off again. So that's box number two. Now for the third one, we need the cardstock that measures six inches by five inches. And on the short side, we're going to score at one inch and four inches. And on the long side, we score at three inches and four inches again. So notch those out. Get some adhesive on the lower flaps and get that put together. And after we get these all put together, then there is some designer paper, as you can see, to decorate them. So I'll give you the measurements for that here in just a moment. I just love these little caddies. I think they're a really nice, cute way to organize your craft table or your desk or any other area you are trying to organize for that matter. Okay, so here are our three boxes. Now let me give you the dimensions of the designer paper that we need and we are going to put them together. So for the large box, we need two pieces of designer paper that measure two and three quarter inches by three, quarter, three quarters of an inch. And they're going to go on the two ends. Now we need a piece that measures one inch by one and three quarter. For the edge of this box. And for the front of the box, we need one that measures one and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now for the small box, we need a piece that measures the same as the side of this one. It is three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters. And then for the front is one by one and three quarters. So we have everything decorated. Now we need to attach everything together. So like I said, you may want to use tear and tape adhesive for this. I'm going to use glue just so that I can stick them on there and quickly and just let them sit. If 
there will be just a little bit of a gap on each edge where these boxes don't take up the entire space of the one behind it. So I just try to center those two boxes right on the front of the large one. And as soon as that is dry, we can decorate it more if you like. As you can see, I tied a bow on this one. You could put a cute little tag if you want. You could stamp an inspirational message. You could decorate these a lot of different ways and wrap a bow around if you like. And they are ready to be filled with your adhesives or with your office supplies. So thanks for joining in for day six and this cute little desk caddy. Make sure you join back in for the rest of my 12 days of DIY gift ideas. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again next time.